The distinctive colors of fall, warm, inviting, and vibrant. Mary Cummings of RCW Nursery shows us what will spruce up the home now and beyond. Thanksgiving's coming up and everyone wants their house to look nice for the holidays. There's a lot of different things you, you can plant out and dianthus are probably one of the best ones to go for all winter long. They don't need a whole lot of care and the butterflies love them. Over here we have some snapdragons and this is a great way to add some height in the garden. If you want to add some blue, you can always add forget-me-nots. These are pansies. They come in lots of different colors. They stay very short and compact. They like lots of sun. They'll tolerate a little bit of shade, but you'll get most of your flowering out of them in quite a lot of sun. Usually you see mums. Uh, unfortunately, they tend to be all done blooming by uh, Thanksgiving. But if you did get them as a gift, you can plant them out in the garden and they'll bloom again in the spring. A great companion plant for pansies is alyssum. And this has an absolutely wonderful smell, makes a nice border for your flower beds. It's time for cyclamen to start coming in. We sell a lot of the red and white ones for the holidays, and those should last through probably April. Petunias come in a lot of bright, bright colors, and in a mass planting, they make a real big impact. They should go all winter long. They can get their flowers frosted off, but after a few days, they'll just continue to bloom again. Even though we're just planting these bedding plants now, they should last all winter long and to the spring. Um, when the weather warms up, most of them will start to fade, probably April. Um, most of these will be done and it'll be time to go on to the next planting. The color and smells of fresh flowers adds to any holiday. To learn more, click the links below. For Home Show Radio, I'm Tom Tynan.